God's word and a laser beam. Who would expect a laser beam to be like God's word? What is a laser? It's a special kind of light. Natural light from the sun has many different colors all mixed together. And the colors look different to us because they have different wavelengths, which we can see in the first diagram. Blue is a short wavelength, and R red has a longer wavelength, and so forth. Now, if you would get one particular color of light, like the second diagram, they all have the same wavelength, but they overlap one another. So that would be a pure red light. But laser light is the third diagram. Not only are they all the same wavelength, but all the waves, the crests and the troughs are aligned with one another. It's called being coherent. And so a laser light has all the waves in step with one another. And so that's what gives it its special properties, enabling it to do amazing things. What are some of the things that the laser light can do? Well, first of all, laser is an acronym. It stands for Light Amplification by Stimulated Emission of Radiation. But we're all familiar with laser light. Light. God's word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. So God's word is like a laser. Pure light. Laser light is pure. It's all one color same frequency, the same wavelength. And the words of the Lord are pure. They're pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. And all the laser waves are in step with each other. And every part of God's word agrees with every other part because God's word is truth. Jesus said, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. What about some uses of lasers? They can be used in operating on people, and just like God's word. Psalm 107.20 says he sent his word and healed them. Lasers are used in communications. Through telecommunications, we have lasers going through light carrying uh, filaments. And in John 8.47, it <coughs> tells us how God speaks to us. In John 8, 47, we read that Jesus said, He that is of God heareth God's words. So God can speak to us through his words. He can communicate to us through his words. And we can use lasers to communicate. Another analogy between God's word and lasers is the holograph. A holograph is a three-dimensional sculpture of light. And we can see four different views of Christ through the Gospels, different aspects, like a holograph. Lasers are also used in accurate construction to make measurements and make sure angles are correct and distances are correct. And God's word can be used in correction also. In Acts 20.32, Paul said, And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up, and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. So God's word can build us up. It's used in construction. Also, all scripture is given by inspiration of God. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction. So we can use laser beams to make sure that anything that's out of line can get corrected. Also, lasers are used for identification cards. And we have identifications, and we have... When we purchase something at the store, they have laser on the code so that the computer can identify the object that you just bought at the store. And God's word is like that. It's for identification. Hebrews 4.12 tells us, the word of God is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Finally, God's word is like a weapon and so is a laser beam. They can go right through steel. Light can penetrate right through steel. It's like a weapon. And so God's word is the sword of the spirit, sharper than any two-edged sword. So there are many similarities between physical light, which God made, and especially laser light, 
which we have made using the light that God made and God's holy word, the Bible.